Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about the grey squirrel. Now it's well documented that it's an invasive species to the UK. They were brought over from America a long time ago. Now this creature has a negative impact on a vast range of different species in the UK but also on the flora and the fauna and the habitat in the UK. I've said before that undoubtedly an interesting creature and they were brought over in, I'd say, late 1800s. Aristocrats brought them over as ornamental pets to the UK. And it's fair to say that every garden in the UK will have these as regular visitors. They like to raid bird tables, bird feed that we put out for other birds. But one of the primary reasons for control is for the damage that they do to the trees. Chewing bark, ring bark in trees. And it's a serious concern and issue for Forestry Commission in the UK. Now what they do, if they ring bark a tree, which essentially means they go around the circumference of the tree, that damage will stop nutrients from flowing up that tree from the ground below and slowly but surely it'll kill that tree. They predominantly feed on uh, seeds and nuts, new shoots. They have a relationship with the jay, a UK resident bird. But what doesn't help us is people that don't understand the situation fully welcome into the gardens and encourage the population growth. Now for me, the best way of controlling greys is via an air rifle in the UK. The tactics, the strategy works 100%. And the best way to do that is by using a dedicated feeder and if you have the permission you have access to the land you make something similar to this one now the choice of feed for me in particular is wheat or mixed corn just because the availability and the economic values really so it's a lot cheaper than using peanuts for example which is something like 46 pound per 20 kilos or 20 kilograms at the moment, which is an affordable way of filling these feeders. And these are a pair of squirrels. It'll be around about autumn time, and they're busy beefing up the drays. Now, for those who don't understand, the dray is where the squirrel will live, it's a structure of leaves and twigs and branches and in residential areas whatever else they can find in terms of insulation now the grey squirrel will build a dray or its home and this is where it'll shelter from bad weather and the worst of the weather in the winter it's a solid structure when the leaves have come off the trees you'll quite easily spot these so if your intention is to control these pests then during the autumn or winter months look out for these structures and place your feeders not too far away. What will happen once you've installed the feeder in a woodland is the squirrels will associate that with a food source they'll build the drays closer. Now drays used for shelter 
but it's also used for bringing up kits. Now squirrels will breed two, three times a year, depending on weather conditions in UK or the grey squirrel will. The female or the doe squirrel will be pregnant for around about 30 to 40 days. And then they'll give birth to live young inside the dray. Litters can range from two up to maybe five or six. And if the breeding cycles every two or three times a year, you can see how this invasive species in the UK can soon expand and the populations get out of control. I've mentioned before, shooting, trapping, they're all effective methods of keeping these populations under control. But let's remember, they do have a life, regardless of if they're a pest. And from a personal point of view, I will use these animals and show them the respect that they deserve. So I'll skin them out and I'll cook them up. Respect for any animal in life and in death is paramount to what we do as hunters, as pest controllers, whatever you like to call yourself. Now for any creature that we do take its life, then I think the ultimate respect is by using every part of that animal or whatever you can, whatever's feasible. So for me, from a personal point of view, I'll cook them up. I'll use them in that way. That life hasn't been in vain. Yep, they're an invasive species. They need controlling for various reasons. But the byproduct of that is they taste absolutely delicious. Now in the USA, where they originate from, they're eating four or five million of these per year. I don't think in UK, people's uh, taste buds are as sophisticated as what they should be. But meat is meat, and if it's prepared properly, and it's cooked properly, then it's delicious. Now, we're not the only people, or the only critters, that predate on these animals. If the pine martin and the buzzard. Now, the pine martin has been reintroduced into Ireland. And as far as I'm hearing so far, it's make a significant dent in the grey squirrel population. The only real concern is, once there's no grey squirrels left, what will the pine martin predate on then? To tackle these grey squirrels and the evasive nature of these species, there's going to have to be a concerted effort throughout the UK. Nice. Now currently there's only small pockets of red squirrels in different sections of UK. And there is control methods in place to try and preserve these populations. Now, it's a big undertaking. It does need a, a monumental effort from all regions of UK. Whether that's through shooting, trapping, or more, re more recently, contraceptives for the grey squirrel. By whatever means, we should be doing his best to control this species. One, to protect woodland. Two, to protect the flora and fauna. And other little species of uh, animals that the grey squirrel is detrimental towards. And three... Obviously, the primary reason is to try and maintain whatever red squirrels we've got left. And then to increase their populations. To increase the habitat that they can distribute themselves into. Then who knows in the future, we could be back in a place where the grey squirrel is the minority and the red squirrel becomes... 
the primary species in the UK habitat. Here's just a few selections of a recent session from me. Trying to do my best to control this grey squirrel population. Now in the region of the UK I live in, there are no red squirrels currently. But my primary reason for controlling these squirrels is to protect the woodland, the other little species that the grey squirrel has a detrimental effect on. Then we're, with the hope of one day the red squirrel might be able to move into its natural habitat. So my advice to you, if you're a hunter, you have the access to the land, you have the permission, and you have the skill set, you shoot a grey and save a red. There's a Facebook group in the UK called UK and Island Squirrels, the grey area. And its evolution is all about trying to save the red squirrels. This is something that interests you. Then please, if you have the access to social media and Facebook, take a look for this group. Become involved, spread the word, and spread the good work that's been done by various members. As ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.